The media tries to make out as though when you buy an EV, well, you're going to have to get the battery fixed, replaced, repaired. It won't be long. It won't be long. Well, it turns out they're wrong. Only 1.5% of electric cars in the world, 1.5% have even had their batteries replaced. And the majority of those 1.5%, well, they were cars. Yep, they were EVs that had to have their batteries recalled or replaced because of faults. And what models were they? Well, I think you all know what I'm talking about. Here's what they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. General Motors, the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV. Oh, how quickly we forget the plight of those who have suffered around us, suffered in silence mostly. I've got to give huge credit to people who own the Bolt and the Bolt EUV because they've been very patient. General Motors and LG Chem, who made the battery packs, are still replacing them. They still, apparently, they've still got about half of the vehicles to go. That is a very, very long drawn out and very slow recall process. Recurrent Auto studied 15,000 electric cars. They learned that outside of battery replacement recalls, only 1.5% of them have had their battery packs replaced. Now, not surprisingly, the most common EVs to have their batteries replaced are batteries from the Chevrolet Bolt EV and the Hyundai Kona Electric. Both of those were recalled for complete battery replacements. For some reason, the Kona Electric, we haven't really talked about that here on the channel or really anywhere else. Everyone kind of ignores the fact that, yes, they had to have the battery packs replaced as well. Now, of course, LG Chem makes the batteries or LG Energy Solutions, as they, as they like to call themselves now, actually one of the biggest petrochemical companies in the world. So that's why they've rebranded as LG Energy versus LG Chem. Doesn't sound good if you admit what you are. Anyhow, their battery packs have had a lot of recalls, a lot of replacements. And I said it fully charged live in Sydney that LFP or lithium ion phosphate packs will last longer and have they have less recourse. Now, one of the panelists on the show rebutted my comments uh, from a very major media organization said that was incorrect. But I think uh, I think the facts support what I'm saying. Because statistically speaking, 80% of all battery packs recalled worldwide have actually been manufactured by LG Chem. And they don't make lithium ion phosphate batteries. So does that mean then that most cars around the world use, you know, use ternary batteries or the type of battery chemistry in the LG Chem battery packs that have been recalled? Because that would make sense because then my theory wouldn't make sense because I'd be saying, well, yeah, most batteries were made by them. Therefore, it's fair for most batteries to be recalled by them. And therefore, I wouldn't be making sense. But the truth is actually no. 60% of all of the world's EVs over the past year and a half have been made using lithium iron phosphate batteries. Think about this, Tesla outsell. Tesla's standard range vehicles, which come with LFP cells, outsold last year. The number of battery packs produced by LG Chem for EVs worldwide. So here you go. My theory appears to be correct, that you have more chance of not having your battery pack replaced if you get an EV with a lithium iron phosphate battery. Recurrent said it saw a higher number of non-recall battery replacements in 2013 to 2015 Tesla Model S sedans, meaning cars that are eight to 10 years old, and 2011 and 2012 Nissan Leaf hatchbacks than in other models. But um, there wasn't many other EVs being sold during those years, to be fair. At the other end of the chart, EVs including the Tesla Model X, the Tesla Model 3, the Audi e-tron, and the Tesla Model Y have seen the fewest battery replacements, which is quite incredible. Now, Inside EV says this in rebuttal to this. They say, it's important to note that the Model Y came to market in 2020. Some rivals have been available for many years. Therefore, it's not really relevant that the Model Y and the Model 3 have had significantly less battery recalls, and the Model X have had significantly less battery recalls. But if you look at the data, you can see here, you can see here a very clear correlation. It doesn't really matter because you can see a correlation between model years. And if you compare cars coming from similar model years, there still is percentage wise, less recalls for Tesla EVs than there are for other brands, significantly less. Now, as you can see in this chart, Nissan, Chevy, and Hyundai completely dominate the battery recall list. The Bolt EUV, fourth worst, third worst, 
Nissan Leaf. Hyundai Kona, second worst. And first worst is a Chevy Bolt EV. Now, to be reasonable here, the Kona hasn't gotten its fair share of negative publicity surrounding its battery recalls as well. The other thing you can see here is that in the United States, battery packs with a lithium ternary pack, meaning the packs coming from LG Chem or even other manufacturers of NCMA batteries versus lithium ion phosphate batteries, they take up about 97% of all battery recalls in the US. That is quite an alarming number. And it proves my point that I've made on the channel numerous times. There's less chance of your EV having a fault if it's either made by Tesla or the battery pack is a lithium ion phosphate pack. So what are the prices? How much does it cost to get your battery pack replaced? Recurrent says the cost is between five to $20,000 on the model. So it would make sense that buyers are concerned. But of course, almost all electric cars on the market now have an eight year battery replacement warranty. So if you buy a new car or a car that's even a couple of years old, you're still gonna have quite a lot of years left before you may or may not have to replace the battery pack. In addition, if there is a known problem with an EV battery pack, most manufacturers will come to the party and replace the battery, even if it is out of warranty. That seems to be a common situation with has been seen. Now, of course, it's worth considering. Your battery will degrade over time. Range will get shorter, but the rate of degradation is getting slower. The newer the pack, the slower the degradation for most manufacturers that is anyway. Now this is what Recurrent Auto had to say. Used EV shoppers worry that the car battery will degrade quickly like a mobile phone battery and not be able to hold a charge within a few years. That is not a good comparison because EV packs are complex technology with battery management systems, unless you have a Nissan Leaf, and that carefully regulate things like charging and temperature. The research shows that batteries are holding up better than expected and replacements are not an automatic surprise expense for owners at 101,000 miles. In other words, yeah, batteries are lasting longer than engines. Keep that in mind. The engine is equally very, very expensive to replace. If you want to put a brand new engine in a car, the price is astronomical. It's actually similar to the cost of a battery pack. In most cases now, battery packs are lasting longer than an engine. So how long will the average battery pack last now? Hard to say because most EVs have actually been sold in the past four years, three to four years, and you wouldn't expect those batteries to die within the three to four years, and they haven't. Most of them haven't anyway. So the average range that we're seeing now from a lot of later model EVs, specifically Tesla, because Tesla has more sales than any other company, is 500,000 plus kilometers. There's quite a few Tesla Model 3s getting around that have done exactly that amount of range with the same battery pack. Now, if you have an older car, an older Nissan Leaf, an older Tesla Model S, the amount of range you're gonna get from your battery pack before having to replace it is gonna be less than that. But if you've got a newer car that was built within the last three years, you're likely to get 500,000 plus kilometers, in some cases, up to a million kilometers. And that all boils down to one thing, better technology, better battery management systems, and mass production, which has ironed out kinks. Keep in mind, that's longer than you're gonna get out of a gasoline internal combustion engine vehicle. And they're much less complex. There's a lot less to go wrong in an electric car. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.